Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in, I'm feeling better. Thank you uh, for all the well wishes. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to get into you know what all has been happening with me and my health. Uh, you guys know me, I'm not one that that's ever wants to get on here and complain and oh, woe is me. I just deal with life as it comes with me, make the best out of it, and then move along. So, uh, but I will say that, you know, I had to deal with things a little differently than most folks do. I don't have, you know, insurance per se, and we don't have a lot of money. So, like if I have to get a tooth pulled, I usually don't have any kind of anesthesia to numb it because it costs extra. So, anyway, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I do wish that I could go back in time, you know, about 30 years and get a hold of my younger self and <laughs> make better decisions, man. Take care of your body a little bit better. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, so those of you who uh, was uh, praying for me, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling better. Um, and it's finally starting to rain again down here in southern Ohio. Gee, man, it will not stop raining. Everything is a complete and total muddy nightmare around here. The barnyard is ankle deep mud. The, every, the backyard, everywhere is just ankle deep mud. I can't fish because the river's blowed out and crazy and flooded. And and uh, I'm gonna have to probably if I, I, I want, I need to go fishing. I need I need to uh, start fishing again. But uh, I'm probably gonna have to make another trip down south or something if I want to fish because everything around here is just not uh, doing very well as far as the river goes. So. Uh, this here is just kind of a reminder of some upcoming events uh, that we're going to be doing um, this coming mainly spring. Uh, so, and I will leave links to all of these uh, events in the description box, whether it's a Facebook link or a web page or something like that. The first thing we're going to be doing is uh, I will be at the Catfish Conference at the end of February. That is at the Expo Center in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, it is the 22nd, 23rd, and 24th of February. It's uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I will be there on Friday, and I will be there on Sunday. Uh, I'll just be around. I'll, I'll probably be a lot of times at the Monster Ride Holders booth, uh, but there I am going to be out and look at some stuff as well. So, uh, end of February, then end of March, March the 30th, we're going to be doing uh, uh, an angler hangout at here in South Point, Ohio. Uh, at a little tackle shop called the Tackle Box. We did it last year and it worked out pretty well. So we're going to do that again this year. It'll be myself, uh, Chris Souders, and there's going to be you know, a lot of other dudes that are going to show up for it. Um, we're hoping there's going to be quite a few people show up and some other YouTubers and whatnot so that anybody who wants to come and meet somebody has a chance to come and meet them. Kind of hang out, look at fishing gear, talk about fishing, tell big fish stories that got away and, and that kind of thing. And it's, it's a good time. It's a really good time. So... Let's see, and then April the 27th, I'm going to be doing like a come fish with me type thing. We're going to be fishing at the Wheeler Dam in uh, Joe Wheeler State Park there in Rogersville, oh, uh, Alabama, not Ohio, Rogersville, Alabama, at the uh, Wheeler Dam there at the Joe Wheeler State Park. Wonderful place. It's just lovely. It's not a whole bunch of rocks and stuff like that that you have to climb at a normal dam. There's not big staircases. It's nice and flat, and uh, even folks... Uh, who uh, you know have mobility issues will be able to come down there and it's a nice level sidewalk and uh, you know it's kind of hang out and do some fishing and see what's biting and uh, I do believe that they may have uh, you know a food truck or a beverage truck or something like that down there for us uh, and as more information comes in about that uh, I will let you guys know in a future video that is April the 27th then of course the um, uh, May the 25th we have the uh, the homesteading conference there in Cookville Tennessee uh, we're gonna be there and we're gonna do a, a I, don't know, I hate to call it like a class or something but we're just gonna do like a little meeting type thing with me and we're gonna talk about you know like homestead fishing uh, because I'm a big huge believer in fishing can help provide for your family and a lot of folks that's got little cow ponds and little streams and creeks and rivers there is opportunities to uh, you have to get food out of that creek and out of those little ponds and stuff. And uh, that's kind of what we're going to be talking about down there. Uh, that aspect that, uh, that a lot of people overlook when you're thinking about homesteading. Um, you know, fishing and fish and turtles and all that kind of stuff that, uh, you know, even in the fall when ducks and stuff are migrating, ducks will come to your pond 
and you don't have to stop fishing, and still you can get your, your shotgun and blast you a couple of dingers off of the pond. So those are the kind of things that, that there's, these, those are the events that I've got going on so far this spring. Mm. Oh, holy crap, that's good coffee. Uh, so, like I said, I'll leave links to those in the description box. I am going to try to fish uh, a few more tournaments this year, uh, catfishing tournaments specifically. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's not, you know, I don't have any kind of sponsors um, as far as that will help me out financially. You know, the, a lot of those tournaments are going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, quite a bit of a distance drive, and there's a lot, uh, a lot of money involved in fuel and motels. And a lot of times I make those trips when I'm out catching bait because I, I bring the bait home and I, and I sell the bait in our little bait business and that helps. Uh, and that helps us cover those expenses and, and actually make a little bit of money. And this year is looking like it's going to be a little bit bigger than last year. Thank you, Lord. And so hopefully we'll be doing well as soon as I can start fishing again. Uh, but in the meantime, you know, those tournaments, I, I love to fish them. And I'm, I, I think that I'm, I think I'm, you know, I'm not by no means good, but I think I can hang, you know what I mean, and, and maybe not win, but at least do well. So, but like I said, the problem is going to be uh, making sure that the finances are in order enough to where I'm going to be able to do that. And somebody had suggested like a fan funding type thing, and I, I don't know about that. That's not, I, I've never done any of that kind of stuff. You guys know that I've never, ever done nothing like that. But what I have considered doing is uh, making a special t-shirt um, that anybody who is interested can buy a t-shirt and it would say something along the lines of you know proud sponsor of regular dude fishing and then we'd be like PBS you know we, we'd be sponsored by you our viewers uh, if that's something that you guys are interested in doing then please let me know in the description or in the uh, in the comments and we may could pursue something like that uh, that would allow you guys to uh, assist us in, in fishing a few more tournaments this year uh, if it's a crappy idea and you guys aren't interested, then just tell me. Yeah, it's a crappy idea. Nobody wants to do that. So, and I appreciate it. Um, lastly, somebody uh, had asked me about my Amazon page. I started up an, an Amazon page uh, last month. And I'm slowly but surely trying to add things, recommendations to the page. Uh, but you can also go to my page and just search for anything on Amazon. You don't have to look specifically for things that I have recommended. Uh, you can like open up, I'll leave a link to my Amazon page. You can open it up and bookmark it. And then anytime you go to Amazon, you can just search for anything through that page. Uh, and then we, that will also help us out a little bit. I decided to do that uh, just because it doesn't cost anybody anything else. Uh, it, the, the prices are still going to be the same for you guys who are buying through Amazon. And it's another way for us to have a little bit more income coming in because YouTube has, uh, well, YouTube has really put a hurting on us as far as what videos they will monetize and uh, the types of ads that they put on there. Um, and like I said, it's never really been about the money, but it does help out, especially when I have to do a lot of traveling. Uh, and I'm hoping that, like I said, this year is going to be a little bit better and it should be a little easier. Uh, but you know me, we'll just take it one step at a time and see what happens. And if it works out, great. Uh, and if it doesn't work out, then uh, then we'll be back to just doing stuff uh, like we were doing here. Uh, this winter was kind of rough. Usually in the wintertime, I, we'll, we'll run a trap line and we'll do furs. You guys remember the videos of years past in the wintertime. We have you know always run a trap line and made buckskins and, and stuff like that. But the fur prices this year and last year are just, they're terrible. They're, it's not, it would actually, I mean, we would go in the hole trying to run a trap line it will just uh, the fur prices are not there it's not feasible for me to do that uh, if one of the, if somebody on the creek calls me and says hey we're having trouble with coyotes or coons or whatever then we'll go set a few nuisance traps to kind of thin them out but we're not targeting anything this year trapping just because it's not uh i we're not able to to make any kind of winter income doing that which is something that we kind of relied on uh the past several years was uh, you know that 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 few hundred dollars extra that we made by running traps and selling furs in the wintertime helped us get through the wintertime. So, the last couple of winters have been pretty rough, but, you know, it is what it is. It's like that, you know, it's like that everywhere. Everything's, everything's rough all the time for folks like us. So, we just kind of, we're used to it. We just kind of, you know, go on about our business. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but, you know, like me and my friend Jason down at Big Bear Homestead, we've been trying to plan for the last two years, him coming up here for a couple of weeks and we're running a nice big long trap line. But, 
what's the point of coming up here and doing it if we're not going to make any money? And we can actually, actually chance by the time we get through prepping the traps and all the fuel we need and the time to set the traps. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It just would not be worth it, especially for him uh, to travel up here from Georgia. So. If the uh, you know if the fur industry uh, ever gets kind of back on its feet a little bit and back on track, then uh, then I will you know start running my trap lines again in the winter time. But as it stands right now, it's just not uh, something that I can uh, that I'm that I'm willing to do. I'm not going to set trap lines and kill animals and, and skin animals just to be killing and skinning. That's not that doesn't make any sense to me. If they become a problem, we'll thin them out. But other than that, you know, leave them run the hills until they get bigger and fatter and and furrier and then maybe next year the fur prices will come back and we can trap them uh we'll just have to wait and see what happens so but anywho uh okay uh, hopefully uh, you know uh, for those of you who watch my fishing channel bear with me like i said the river is out of control it's not good fishing around my area right now and i just don't have the means to make a trip down south uh to do any fishing down there so, but I will here hopefully within the next couple of weeks and uh, we're going to kind of get uh, through this weather spell here and then we're going to get back at it because, uh, you know, we've got tackle shops and stuff uh, opening up in March and there's going to be people start fishing when it starts warming up and they're going to want bait and uh, so I'm going to try to supply it this year again for them. So hopefully here soon we'll be back on the water fishing and uh, like I said, let me know what you guys think about the, uh, the t-shirt sponsorship idea if that's something... Uh, that you guys are willing to do to help me out, uh, then let me know. And if it's just a terrible idea, you guys, <laughs> you got something, got something better to do with your money. I completely understand, and we won't talk about it anymore. So there you have it. So you guys uh, in my area here, anyway, stay dry, stay safe. I know there's some bad winter weather going on in parts of the country right now. There's some bad storms that's fixing to happen in other parts of the country right now. My advice is. Make yourself some coffee and sit in and look out the window and go, man, I am glad I am not out there right now. <laughs> so, all right, you guys. Uh, thank you very much. You guys have a wonderful, great rest of the day. I really appreciate your time that you spend with us watching our videos. Uh, I guess that's it for now. So, God bless. Me Buzz Buzz, the end.